ladies and gentlemen, today we're doing something different. We've got two laptops. We wanted to test if there is a difference between cost between them. We'll be benchmarking by applying games that are supported on both devices, running speed tests, watching AKV playbacks, and even the standard benchmark of blowing up some TNT in Minecraft. Plus, we'll check out the microphones. We're starting with two popular graphically intense Roblox games. Up front is Frontlines. For the MacBook Air M4, the results came in that the game loaded with quite ease. Rendering was substantially faster than the ThinkPad because of the Metal's graphics structure. It uses to accelerate the rendering times. The ThinkPad has integrated graphics that are not really up to standard for these type of games. Up next is Project Flight, which is a paid Roblox game about flying airplanes. With the MacBook Air M4, the loading time was 36 seconds for the main UI to pop up and overall the performance was as smooth as it gets at a cap of 60 FPS since the MacBook Air is running a 60Hz screen. For the ThinkPad, the frames were around about 25-30 to 30 FPS most of the time, though the recording did bug out because of the loading in the next airport. Very closely, the ThinkPad came with an extra 4 seconds of wait time for the main UI to pop up, which is actually very surprised how close they were. Overall, the performance of this ThinkPad was very slightly stuttery, but it was still playable. Looking at the results, it is clear who when it is. It's the M4 MacBook Gear. Only by a little bit. Apart from the FPS gains, the loading time was only roughly, as I said, seconds apart. Speedometer 3.1, which is a web speed test. This test checks how fast each laptop can load websites and run the web apps. Basically, how quickly you can browse the internet and use online games or tools. Surprisingly, the M4 MacBook Air got a staggering 44.5, and overall, most laptops can run web pages, so there isn't much of a difference between the ThinkPad and the M4 MacBook Air, but the ThinkPad did have a major decline in performance with a low score of 15.5. The MacBook came on top of a 29 score difference, this is most likely because of the speed of the M4 MacBook Air, and with the added benefit of having Wi-Fi 6E. We'll be watching an 8K YouTube video. The M4 MacBook Air could definitely play an 8K video and didn't get hot, which is very surprising because this M4 MacBook Air does not have a fan inside. And overall, the battery decrease was a 2% decline in the period of the video. The ThinkPad L13 Yoga Gen 3 could slightly play the 8K video, but majority of the time it was very laggy. Fans started wearing up and the laptop's chassis became warm to the touch. Time to test which laptop makes your voice sound the clearest. The M4 MacBook Air's microphone. This is the audio from the MacBook Air. The voice clarity was very good and sounded like my voice in a good way. The background noise cancellation was not applicable because I was recording this voice in a very quiet environment. And the volume levels were very exceptional. This is the ThinkPad's microphone. The voice clarity for the ThinkPads though was mediocre and I had some clipping. The background noise cancellation was similar but from the fan of the laptop was disrupting the voice levels and my voice. Alright, after putting both laptops through our epic battle tests, here's what we discovered. The M4 MacBook Air was our champion. Thanks for joining us.